Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to install and use the Touch Resolume layout for Touch OSC available for iPod Touches, iPhones, and iPads. My layout currently only works for smaller devices like the phone and the um, iPad layout is not yet available. Uh, Touch OSC will soon be available for Android uh, systems coming soon according to the Hexler website. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to my website here, martinthoburn.com, and find my Touch Resolume 1.0 layout page. There you can download my custom layout. Uh, you also need to have Resolume 3 installed, the Touch OSC app for your phone, and also the Touch OSC editor. Resolume 3 is a great real-time video mixing program that uh, you can download a demo for. So this should work with the demo. 3.31 is the latest version as of the date of this tutorial. Um, Touch OSC is at version 1.62. And you can download that at the iTunes uh, App Store. It's only $5. Probably one of the best audiovisual apps ever created. Uh, and then from the Hexler website, .net website, you can download the Touch OSC editor, which I use to create this layout. Um, and you will also need it to install the layout to your phone. You want to launch Touch OSC. Um, I'm already connected to the same wireless network. Click Layout here, and we're going to go to this Add button. But before that works, we actually have to have this Touch OSC editor install, open and installed. And you want to open my custom layout. Here it comes in a folder. I even provided install instructions for you, uh, but this video should suffice. When you open this layout in the Touch OSC editor, you can actually sync it to your phone or iPod. I hit the sync button. Now I should be able to search my wireless network and find my phone by clicking this add. Seize my computer. And then it's saying uh, that there's already an existing layout with the same name and it's going to be overwritten. If you haven't installed this layout before, you won't get that error. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to be worried about overwriting it. For you, that shouldn't happen. Once you have it here installed, you want to make sure it's selected as your default um, uh, layout there. And under network, you want to make sure your host IP is the same as your computers. Uh, and you want to set your outgoing port to 7000. And your incoming port uh, won't be necessary because Resolume 3 does not support OSC output at this time. Although future versions should support it in version 4. Uh, if you don't know your IP address under your Mac system preferences, you're on a PC, this will be totally different. Um, system preference network, here this IP address should match. Those two items should be the same. So, the most important thing you want to do after you have Touch OSC installed on your phone, you want to set up Resolume 3 Avenue to work with Open Sound Control. Under here, under the Preferences, you'll see on the first row here, Open Sound Control. Make sure that Enable Switch is on uh, and that Bundles is turned off. Uh, and we can leave the incoming port at 7000. That's the default port and it's already set up correctly. So that's pretty much it, and once we have that all set up, uh, and we want to make sure that everything's on the same wireless network, uh, we should be able to start playing around. Okay, so once you have Touch Resolume installed on your iPhone or iPod Touch, and you've got it linked up with Resolume 3 Avenue, uh, you can start mixing pretty much right on the fly. I've got five pages here to help you control lots of key functions within the program. Uh, this second to top most layout is for triggering clips. And that'll get you started on just getting things fired off. Layer one, I've got a clip playing. Now, right now we don't see anything because I happen to have that layer mixed all the way down, so I can just bring that level up. And we can see I've got some effects going on here. I can mute some effects, turn those off, turn them back on. All right, no problem. So I've muted all my effects right now. Uh, let's say I want to bring in something else on level two. Maybe I'll 
bring up the Opacion level 2 in preparation for another clip. Then I'll go ahead and fire one off. Now I've got a blend between two clips. And then go back and I could fire off a whole row, a whole column of clips, all four layers. Now I've got four layers here. This is probably a good one here. Now I've got lots of clips blending and I can adjust that blend, bring in, bring in that mix a little better, bring in some of those blobs and get it the way I like it. Right now I'm just going to play around with some of the other features. I can mute each clip, I can solo layers, solo that layer, solo the fire layer, solo the gal, solo these dots, no problem. Uh, so let me mute out these layers here and go in and let's play around with some triggering and um, cueing. This is the second from the bottom here. So this gal, uh, she's on layer one, so I'm going to select layer one as my active layer then set a cue point for for when she's far away and then a cue point when she's up close and then I can just trigger between those two actions really fast um, I can also change this to BPM mode so it's on a BPM clock and then click a button for a one beat loop quarter beat loop All right now she's looping on the quarter beat two-thirds loop go back to a four bar loop cut in boom cut in on there four bar loop and if the tempo's off on this topmost page you can tap out the BPM to anything you like and then resync it pause it change it back to timeline and scratch the video no problem now let me use the crossfader I gotta set up two clips I'm gonna have layer one and layer two maxed out get rid of those uh, I'll uh, go back up to my crossfader view. These buttons will assign crossfaders, so I've got layer 1 on A, layer 2 on B, and then I can crossfade between the two. Now i got to be careful, apparently layer 2 is still muted, so i got to unmute that. Now, there we go, crossfader working. Fire gal, fire gal. Go back to layer 1. Make the gal play forward, all right? Make it play backwards. Randomize any clip. So lots of key functions, lots of potential. Everything works right out of the box. Uh, nothing needs to be programmed. Individual layer controls are possible for effects on layers. You can change the video speed, uh, slow it down. Let's say in this case, I'll have to play it forward. Have it play really fast. Have it slow down to a crawl. Play fast, slow down. Anything is um, a lot of functions are directly accessible within this layout. Unfortunately, not all on one page. This layout was designed to work as a uh, addition to a more comprehensive MIDI controller, um, or it's a way you can leave your VJ station and control from the audience, uh, or um, any other sort of functions you can think of. Eventually this will probably be ported to an iPad layout where all these controls will be on one nice page uh, so you don't have to flip through. But considering this is pocket remote controlling from your phone, or in my case, very thin iPod touch, it's pretty damn cool. So make modifications to it, change the layout, send me what you're working on. I'd love to see it. I could post it on the page. Thanks for watching.